The process of discovery goes on every day in Hawaii by those curious and courageous enough to go where few dare. Out here on the north shore of Molokai, the rain and the ocean relentlessly pound the sea cliffs. Except for the summer months, it's pretty inaccessible. That's probably why so few people come here. It's a part of Hawaii that I would bet looks the same today as it did to the first Polynesians. Down here on the water, this coastline is a spectacular sight. Nature at work, shaping the land, carving ridges and caves from the rock. These rock walls were once fiery and fluid, and now they get battered and undercut by the ocean's waves. Built up over thousands of years, they are slowly reclaimed by the sea. Each time I make this journey, I'm aware that nature could turn on me. The ocean could suddenly rise up and dash me against the rocks like a piece of driftwood. keep coming back despite the risks. It's no longer just the magnificence of it all. It's something much, much more important. Tomorrow, the real danger begins. And if all goes well, I'll reach my final destination. I'm a botanist. Years ago, I discovered the Alula, an extremely rare plant species we thought was gone, gone forever. Each year when I returned, I noticed there were fewer and fewer of them, and never any new plants. It seemed that the Alula's pollinators had disappeared. For the species to survive, a new pollinator was needed. That's why I come back each year to help them in their struggle to survive. Trouble is, there's no way to reach them without climbing these crumbling sheer sea cliffs, and no way to anchor a rope until I make it to the top where a few still cling to life 
3,000 feet above the ocean. It's touch and go whether the Alula will survive. It's really up to me to help keep this precious species alive. Up here on the highest sea cliffs in the world, I have really gained an appreciation for the richness of life on Hawaii. Of course, the job has only begun. I have to come back in a few months to collect the seeds. Pretty crazy, huh? I want all this beauty to be around for our children to see. And their children, which is not so crazy after all.
Pele's lava continues to flow today as it has for millions of years, providing a foundation for the generations of tomorrow.